Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed for another Thermal Take the Tower 100 build video. Two weeks ago I showed you everything, or just about everything, that was going into this monstrous build. Then last week we threw all the hardware and connected the water blocks and attached the fittings. I was pretty happy with the end result, for now anyway, because I can certainly see myself wanting to throw more hardware into this massive case before too long. Anyway, before I uh, put any major upgrade plans into action, let's finish the initial build, because uh, I do have quite a bit of plumbing to do. So with that, roll the tape. Wow, that is an amazing looking system, and I'm not patting myself on the back when I say that. I mean more in regards to the hardware used. That Gigabyte Z270 gaming 7 board just looks incredible. I haven't even customised the RGB lighting yet, but already I think it looks pretty great. Of course, it's the Tower 900 case that's really made this build 
so impressive. It's a fantastic showcase and all that extra thermal take liquid cooling gear inside certainly hasn't hurt either. Speaking of thermal take and goodies, they did send something else over because they thought that, you know, this is 2017 and you guys are probably sitting there thinking, Steve, are they the only RGB lights you've got in this monstrosity? Well, thanks to thermal take, that it won't be the case, at least in a moment. I have their magnetic LED strips, uh, RGB LED that is, and I think there's, looks like there's six strips in total. Uh, so I'm about to uh, whack these in and we'll see how they look. Wow, okay, that, that really deserves a wow now. Uh, in my opinion, that looks pretty spectacular. I hope the camera's picking it up as good as it looks uh, in the flesh, because yeah, those lights have really made it. Such an impressive looking build, and <laughs> unfortunately, I don't really have a purpose for it. I'll have to work something out because I want to keep upgrading it and tinkering and doing all that sort of stuff. But the build came about because of Intel's seventh generation processors, and we thought they'd be uh, not hugely impressive, but a little bit exciting, and you know, that didn't really turn out to be the case. And I had a spare Core i7 7700K processor on hand, and Thermaltake wanted to do some kind of special crazy build to show off their gear and KB Lake. Um, thankfully, Thermaltake's gear came together and was quite exciting. Uh, not so much so for KB Lake. Anyway, uh, I would have liked to have done a giveaway, and I'm sure there'll be plenty of you guys saying, you know, if you don't know what to do with the system, give it away. Uh, and honestly, I would, but I don't think I could afford the shipping. Sending this thing overseas would probably bankrupt the channel. Uh, but on a more positive note, I will do a full system build this year in 2017 uh, that I'll give away on the channel. I just have to work with a few of the companies and, yeah, arrange that. But that'll be something that I will definitely do this year. With that, I would just like to give a really big thank you to Thermaltake for supplying so much of the gear that made this build possible, and for Gigabyte for sending over that amazing looking Z270 Gaming 7 motherboard, and finally NVIDIA for pitching in with their GeForce GTX 1070 Founders Edition graphics card. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed the build series, and please, if you did, give me a like and leave some feedback below. I'm your host, Steve, and I hope to catch you on another video real soon.